And now, Hattie Kaufman and Don Porter with Chuck Weiss Weather and Lou Gellos Sports. This is King 5 News. And good evening again. Hattie Kaufman is off tonight. Snow, ice, and freezing rain are in the forecast for Seattle and western Washington. And tonight, the city of Seattle opened the basement of City Hall for use as shelter for the homeless seeking refuge from the cold. The order to make City Hall available came from Mayor Royer. The move is aimed at handling the overflow from the city's other shelters, which fill up rapidly on these frigid nights. The city provides blankets and mats, but not food for the homeless. And, say officials, the City Hall basement will be used for shelter for as long as the extra demand requires. And it looks as though our 10-day stretch of cold weather will hang on through tonight at least. Chuck Wise is here now with the latest on what we will wake up to find among us or on us tomorrow morning. Chuck? Well, Don, from indications right now, it's going to be a rather complicated mixture of precipitation beginning tomorrow morning. The weather finally arrived here in Seattle tonight, spreading up from northern Oregon, where there were blizzard conditions reported earlier today. In fact, I had a call from Ocean Shores, a uh, lady nice enough to call us and tell us that there were near blizzard conditions reported earlier this evening at Hoquiam. Not quite that bad here locally but we will get some snow. The satellite picture shows right now that uh, the moisture has spread northward into the Puget Sound, and don't be misled by that picture. The, what appears to be clearing behind there is really not. There's a complex array of temperatures in the atmosphere ground right now, so that's not completely accurate, but we are looking for this complex mix. It won't be until late tomorrow, Don, the way we see very much warming. I'll have details coming up in about 15 minutes. Okay, Chuck, we'll hope you can sort it all out for us later on in the broadcast. In eastern Washington tonight, a major fire raced through Ephratus Business District. Half a city block was devastated by the fire that started in an appliance store. Fire officials say the flames were fueled by exploding acetylene tanks. More than 50 firefighters battled the blaze for three hours before bringing it under control. Damage there has been estimated at more than a half million dollars. There were no injuries, luckily, the cause is under investigation. Meanwhile, Seattle fire investigators still have no cause for a spectacular blaze that destroyed an industrial building in South Seattle. The fire at Victory Auto Bumpers started about 10 last night. Firefighters fought that blaze for more than an hour before finally knocking it down. Damage to the burned-out structure has been estimated at $350,000. News around the world, a three-judge panel in the Philippines today acquitted Armed Forces boss Fabian Vare of charges connected with the assassination of opposition leader Benigno Aquino. The judges say Aquino died at the hands of a communist gunman, refuting prosecutors' claims that a military conspiracy was behind that assassination.